Hey everyone, welcome back to Skill Curve, where we post daily videos on new cutting edge technologies. So today we are diving into a game changing tool that's revolutionizing the way we take notes and manage information. Yes, you guys are right. We are talking about Copilot Pro in Microsoft OneNote. So as you guys know, like, you know, Microsoft OneNote has been a staple for note taking enthusiasts and professionals for years, right? Uh, providing an incredible platform for organizing thoughts, meetings and projects. But now with the integration of Copilot Pro is not just about taking notes, it's about taking your productivity to an entirely new level. Uh, so yeah, whether you are a student, a professional, or just someone who loves staying organized, Copilot Pro in OneNote now has something very exciting for you to offer. And in this video, we're going to explore its features, tips for getting the most out of it, and also some real life applications that will blow your mind. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into it and take a deep dive into the world of Copilot Pro. All right, so first of all, uh, for accessing uh, Copilot Pro in OneNote, you need to make sure two things you need to get the subscription of Copilot Pro and also Microsoft 365. So if you're not familiar with that, you can again check out my previous video that I've uploaded in the channel, like how you can integrate Copilot Pro in Microsoft 365 apps. And yeah, after you are uh, done with the integration, so you need to go ahead and open your uh, OneNote app. And yeah, after that, uh, this kind of uh, interface will appear. So first of all, you need to go ahead and create a new notebook. You need to name your notebook. I'm just going to go ahead and do that and click on create notebook. All right. All right. And after uh, you are all done, so this will be a kind of an interface of your OneNote. So this is a very typical interface. We have file, home, insert, draw, history, review, view, how, but over here, we have all the sections of your notebook that you have created and work on. And after that, if you can go ahead and click on home. So now you can see we have an option of Copilot integrated right inside of our OneNote app. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this. And now you can see it says I can help you generate ideas, make to-do lists and plans, summarize your notes and identify key points and action items. You can select text on your page to get started. Okay. So there are two things. One thing is you can go ahead and use Copilot from scratch. Like you haven't wrote anything, but still you can go ahead and ask Copilot to generate text for you very, very efficiently, okay? And the other case is that if you are working on some existing texts, you have your own text. So what are the things you can do with that particular text? That is really, really exciting. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you like how Copilot Pro can really help you draft some exciting text in your Microsoft OneNote. Okay. So first of all, as you guys can see, it's showing give me ideas and draft a plan. Okay. So these are two ideas. So you can go ahead and get ideas from Copilot Pro in your OneNote, or you can go ahead and draft a plan. Okay. So let's just say for the first example, I'm just going to go ahead and click on give me ideas. And I'm going to ask Copilot for like, give me ideas for starting a small online business from scratch. So let's just go ahead and see what kind of text or you know output is going to give us uh, to input in our Microsoft OneNote. All right, so it's saying the ideas uh, for starting a small online business from scratch is online store. You can start an online store selling products in a niche that you're passionate about. You can start virtual tutoring, freelance writing, social media management, and virtual bookkeeping, okay? So these are some ideas for starting a small online business from scratch. And if you want uh, to copy this and paste it right over here, you just need to click on copy come to your OneNote and select Control V and this will be pasted right away in your OneNote, okay? All right, so this was a uh, one feature that Copilot offers you while drafting a new text. Okay, so let's just go ahead and see the next option is say draft a plan. So for this example, let's just say I provide in my example like draft a plan for organizing a community cleanup event, okay? So let's just see what kind of output is going to provide me for that now. All right, let's just go ahead and copy this, paste it right here and read that first. So it says, uh, set the date and location, advertise the event, gather supplies, recruit volunteers, organize the cleanup, dispose of the waste and celebrate and thank volunteers. So this is how you can go ahead and organize a community cleanup event with just these simple seven steps. All right. All right. So these are example uh, of the two options that Copilot provides you while drafting a new tax. So now let's just go ahead and see what we have in this bar right over here. So as you guys can see, we have an option of view prompt. So you can go ahead and get help from Copilot Pro now in Microsoft OneNote to help you create prompts for you, which is really amazing. Okay. So if you go ahead and click on create, so do you have examples to create? What are some tips for dash 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 draft a plan? Give me ideas, help me plans. And the next understand we have 
a draft a to-do list so you can create to-do list you can add a meeting agenda based on prior meeting notes you can list the pros and cons help me improve the platform break down what analyze help me form an argument so yeah uh, these are all the features that you can go ahead and do that while working on your existing text. Okay, so let's just go ahead and see the first existing text example. So for that, I'm just going to go ahead and delete all this. And for the first example, let's just say I'm working on this text of cybersecurity. Okay, so this is a very good uh, paragraph or blog about cybersecurity. So it's saying, in today's rapidly evolving digital landscape, cybersecurity has become a paramount concern for business worldwide. The increasing frequency and sophistication for cyber attack posts a serious threat to organizational data integrity and privacy. Companies are investing heavily in U.S. security major to safeguard your digital assets. So this is a very cool paragraph about a cybersecurity. So let's just go ahead and see what kind of various functionalities of Copilot Pro we can test out in Microsoft OneNote while working on this existing text, okay? So for that, first of all, I'm just gonna go ahead and close this Copilot, go ahead and open it once again, just to get all the options uh, for working on the existing text. So now you can see we have a few more options. We have the option to summarize, draft a to-do list, list pros and cons. So these options we were not seeing that before okay so let's just go ahead and see all the test cases of what we can do while crafting an existing text so first of all you can go ahead and summarize key points okay and for that i'm just going to go ahead and click on summarize and i'm going to say summarize the main points of this paragraph on cybersecurity in business okay and if i'm going to go ahead and click that so it's working on my request so let's just see the output. All right, so you're saying according to the selected text, cybersecurity is a major concern for business due to the increasing frequency and sophistication of cyber attacks. Companies invest in advanced security measures such as encryption multi-factor. So if I can go ahead and copy this, paste it right over here. So now you can see uh, the length, right? So this was our whole paragraph and now we have a very good summary of the same exact paragraph with just one prompt in Copilot Pro. All right, so now let's just go ahead and see our next case. So now you can draft a plan out of your existing tags in your Microsoft One Note, okay? And for that, I'm just gonna go ahead and type in my prompt like, based on the paragraph, draft a basic cybersecurity plan for small business, okay? So let's just go ahead and see the output for this now. Okay, so you see according to the current selection, here's the basic cybersecurity plan for a small business. So you can deploy encryption technologies, you can implement multi-factor authentication, conduct regular security audits, train employees, develop a proactive security strategy, foster a culture of security awareness, okay? So these were, uh, you know, the plans you can draft out of the existing text in your Microsoft Copilot Pro in Microsoft OneNote, okay? All right, so the next case is we can go ahead and generate a to-do list as well out of the existing text, which is really, really amazing. As you guys saw, we have that option over here as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the same option, draft a to-do list, and I'm going to type in my prompt here that... For improving a company's cybersecurity measures as mentioned in the paragraph. Let's just go ahead and click that to see the output. It's like how we'll create a to-do list for me. So according to the current uh, section, we have the to-do list with deploy encryption technologies, implement multi-factor authentication, conduct regular security audit, train employee, develop reactive security, and foster a culture awareness, right? So these are uh, the to-do list that you can create out of the generated text. And as you guys can see right over here, we also can see, you know, what kind of, like from where it's basically creating that to-do list. So it was in this section and this was in this section. You guys can see uh, we have all the to-do list from different sections in our given paragraph, okay? All right, and the next case is you can go ahead and identify challenges and solutions out of the given test. So you can go ahead and create a listing. So let's just say if I go ahead and select this paragraph and I come in my and I say list the challenges and potential solutions mentioned in the paragraph regarding cybersecurity in businesses, okay? All right, and for that, it provided me the challenges uh, are there and the potential solutions for that are this, right? So this is a very cool feature where you can go ahead and identify challenges and their solutions as well out of the given test, okay? All right, and another last very cool feature is that now you can go ahead and rewrite the whole paragraph once again, like for different audience in different style. So this is really, really amazing. Like you can totally change the format or style of your paragraph, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and select this and now type in my prompt, like rewrite this paragraph to make it understandable for high school students learning about cybersecurity. So let's just see uh, how it will change the format, the style of this paragraph to, you know, more and more understandable for our high school students. So let's just see that. 
Okay, so he's saying, you know, in today's world where we do so much online, keeping our information safe from hackers is super important for businesses. Just like how we lock our doors, thieves out, companies use things like secret codes and extra layers of security to keep their information safe. So this is really, really cool wording, right? So now it is really understandable, like very much understandable for uh, students like of high schools and for uh, mainly different people as well, okay? All right, so this was a one example of how you can go ahead and create different test case uh, scenarios out of your existing paragraph, which was a random paragraph, I think about cybersecurity. So let's just go ahead and see how we can go ahead and draft different things out of the paragraph like our routine or something like anything that is related to you so for that i'm just going to go ahead and draft about my typical day's routine okay so i'm just going to go ahead and rewrite this all again so you know this is kind of a my typical day's routine so i say my daily routine is both structured and varied i start my day early with a morning run which helps me clear my mind and energize for the day ahead after the run, I spend some time meditating, followed by a healthy breakfast. My workout begins in 9 emails filled with various tasks, including meetings, project work, and responding to emails. I make sure to take a short break every hour to stay fresh and focus. Lunch is usually a salad or sandwich. You know, this is all my routine for a whole day. So why I wrote this? Because, you know, the apps like OneNote and these things are really useful for your routine and daily tasks and to-do list, right? So let's just see how OneNote helps you in that particular purpose, right? This will be very interesting. All right, so for the first example, let's just see how you can create a to-do list out of this amazing daily routine, okay? So for that, I'm just gonna go ahead and select it and write in my prompt like generate a to-do list based on the activities mentioned in the daily routine paragraph. So let's just see what kind of to-do list is gonna provide uh, from this paragraph. We will have a better idea from this daily routine now. All right, here you go. This is absolutely perfect, so you say, Go for a morning run, meditate, have a healthy breakfast, start work at 9 a.m., take a short break every hour, have a salad or sandwich for lunch, dedicate time to create work or problem-solving tasks, relax and spend time with family in the evening, cook dinner together, read a book or listen to podcasts before bed. So this is absolutely perfect, okay? This is the perfect to-do list that you can create out of your given tab. So let's just go ahead and see another example like how we can summarize uh, this routine for us. We want to like read it quickly and real short. So for that, I'm going to say summarize the key components of the daily routine described in the paragraph. Let's just see the output for this one now. All right, here we go. So now we have a complete summary in bullet points. So we have starting day with morning learning and medication, having a healthy breakfast, beginning work at 9 a.m. and take short breaks. So this was exactly, you know, quite a bit safe, like a to-do list. So yeah, this is the summary of what you're going to do in the whole day of, of your daily routine, okay? And now the next thing we can do is we can schedule and time manage. Like we can do scheduling and time managing as well. So for that, I'm going to go ahead and select this once again. And I'm going to type in the prompt like based on the routine, create a schedule allocating specific times for each activity, okay? So let's just see the output for this one now. All right, so here we go. Now it has basically scheduled the whole thing for us and, you know, the time management for us as well. So it says 6 a.m. morning run, 6.45 meditation, 7.15 healthy breakfast, 9 a.m. start work, 10 a.m. short break, 11 a.m. short break, 12 p.m. lunch. So this is absolutely crazy, like how well it has created the whole routine for us, starting from 6 a.m. in the morning till 10 p.m. till bedtime, okay? So this is absolutely terrific, okay? And the next thing you can ask for us is you can go ahead and identify areas for improvement out of one note. So for that, select this once again, type in my prompt, suggest improvements or changes to make the routine more efficient and balanced. All right, so here we go. Now it has identified the areas for improvement to say incorporate some strength training or yoga into the morning exercise routine to improve overall fitness and flexibility. Beautiful, consider using the Pomodoro technique to structure work session and breaks more effectively. All right, try leave gripping on uh, the weekends to save time and ensure health eating throughout the week. Schedule some time for a hobby or leisure activity. So yeah, this is absolutely great, okay? And the last thing is, let's just go ahead and see like whether it will uh, create the meal plans for us given just our daily routine. Like let's just go ahead and ask for a meal plan, okay? So I'm gonna say design a meal plan for a week on the dietary habits described in the routine, okay? All right, this is absolutely crazy. Now it has basically provided me the table. Let's just go ahead and copy this paste it right here so we have now the complete table to create a meat plan which is absolutely beautiful okay so we have the day monday breakfast is going to be oatmeal with fruits and nuts lunch is going to be salad with grilled chicken dinner is going to be grilled fish with vegetables tuesday is going to be this wednesday is going to be this thursday this so yeah this is how you can go ahead and create the entire meal plans out of your daily routine as well from 
Copilot Pro in your Microsoft OneNote, okay? All right, so now for our last example, let's go ahead and be a bit professional like for office meetings. So let's just say you want OneNote for your office meetings and you know, like for office queries. So how Copilot Pro in Microsoft OneNote is gonna help you in that. So for that, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete all this. All right, come to my OneNote, close my Copilot. And now I'm gonna provide in my paragraph like in our Quarterly company meeting, the focus was on evaluating the progress of our ongoing projects and settling objectives for the upcoming quarter. The CEO highlighted key achievements. So it is basically uh, the meeting, like what exactly uh, were the points in the meeting. So let's just go ahead and draft some of the cases out of this given time. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this, open my co-pilot. And for the first example, let's just say I want to summarize key points out of that, right? So this will be really straightforward. I'm just going to go ahead and say, summarize the main outcomes and action items from the quarterly company meeting described in a paragraph. Let's just see the output for this now. All right, so it's saying the CEO highlighted key achievement is the product development and marketing expansion. Challenges in supply chain management were discussed with potential solution proposed by department has the company plans to enhance its digital marketing strategies to align with changing consumer behavior. Okay, so these were some of the points that were summarized. So for the next example, let's just say I want to identify challenges and uh, like solutions once again. And for that, I'll say list are the challenges mentioned in the meeting and proposed solutions, especially in supply chain management and digital marketing so let's just see the output for this now all right so these are where the few challenges that were you know identified in supply chain management and digital marketing so you're saying during the quarterly company meeting the challenges in supply chain marketing were discussed with the department has providing in size and potential solution eventually there was an emphasis on enhancing digital market strategies to align with changing consumer behavior okay so uh for the next uh case let's just say if you want to draft a follow-up plan for this entire meeting so you say create a follow-up plan for the initiative discussed in the company meeting focusing on employee well-being and flexible working arrangement okay so let's just see what output is going to provide me for that now. All right, so for the follow-up plan is telling me you should conduct a survey, you should analyze the survey result, develop a proposal, present the proposal, communicate the approved plan, monitor and evaluate. So this is how, you know, you can very uh, easily go ahead and just create uh, these all things from just like the meeting that you have conducted in your office, okay? All right, so for the last example, let's just say if you want to generate ideas for employee engagement. And for that, I'm going to tie it in the prompt like generate ideas for employee well-being initiatives at the meetings, okay? So let's just see the output for this now. All right, so here we go. So it's saying, you know, you should discuss flexible working arrangements, mental health support, physical wellness programs, professional development, team building activities. So yeah, these were all uh, the ideas for employee engagement. Yeah, there you have it, guys. These were all the features that you can do while using Copilot Pro in Microsoft OneNote. So yeah, I hope you like this complete tutorials about all the test cases that you can do while using Microsoft Copilot Pro in OneNote. So yeah, I hope you like this video and I'll see you in the other one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.